Thanks for staying with us. And of course, uh, staying with this particular story, President Cyril Ramaphosa will host his uh, Finnish counterpart in a state visit. The two countries aim to strengthen trade and investment relations. Discussions are expected to center on possible opportunities in renewable energy, information and communication technology, as well as mining technology. Joining us for this discussion, we're joined by our economics editor, Tsepo Mungwai, who joins us in the studio. Tsepo, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for stopping by. You know, when one thinks about Finland, and, and I'm sure the viewers are wondering tonight, what do we learn from a country like Finland, particularly when you look at the fact that they take their social policies very seriously? Absolutely. They are big when it comes to social spending uh, and where we find that in, uh, education in Finland is free up to a master's level. Um, so you can see that, I mean, people, they enjoy uh, that protection a, a lot. Um, housing is another important one. And um, they are... Uh, uh, promulgated policy to ensure that um, people have access to free housing almost like South Africa but on a different level because mm -hmm. they are dealing with um, homelessness in their country and um, you know it's very very cold it gets to minus 20 degrees Celsius so they've made sure that uh, whoever has got challenges it may be you know drug addicts uh, whatever issues the first thing that they do is to provide adequate housing mm -hmm. uh, almost finished uh, with proper uh, support in terms of social work uh, who will be there for those people uh, if they are addicts then they get some assistance if they've lost jobs and so forth they get that particular help but however I mean things like that comes at a, at a huge pr uh, price and um, they've been uh, really uh, I mean their debt levels in terms of GDP uh, that has been increasing a lot and um, even the new uh, president who came in said that he will ensure that the brings down that uh, the spending because they need to control spend mm. and bring it down because mm. it's one item that has been cons concerning for quite some time um, but there, there are a lot of safety nets that are provided for for, for the people there uh, and and the other issue is of course um, energy um, they uh, derive most of their energy source um, with, in, with nuclear. Nuclear is quite big. I think um, uh, almost two third of, uh, or a third of their their energy sources from nuclear. And they've been uh, putting a lot of money in in, in nuclear. And and suppose there could be some lessons. Uh, as South Africa, we do need um, whatever help in terms of investments and expertise, mm. uh, so that we are able to deal with our energy challenges. And 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 I mean. Some Someone can even say that, uh, you know, as much as their income tax is high, uh, you know, the residents do see where the money is going. But there's another issue that South Africa is also grappling with, and that's the issue of corruption. And, and, and I suppose it possibly might be something that might need to come up, given where they are when it comes to the corruption levels. Uh, absolutely. They've done well when it comes to um, alleviating uh, corruption, especially at the state level. If you hear of an incident of, of corruption, it usually relates to a private company. But in government, um, I mean, if, if you look at their index by Interne uh, in, uh, Transparency International, they rank the second uh, um, uh, li uh, least corrupt country in the world. Uh, and I mean, th there are really good lessons that uh, we can learn from mm -hmm. from such a country in terms of how they've they've achieved that the morale and the thinking in government uh, to be at that particular level because it's something we can only envy as South Africa uh, but I'm sure then there'll be few tips that we can emulate from there. Especially because the index is saying we are stagnating. So a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of questions and concerns around this one, but I'm told we're out of time. Thank you so much for stopping by. And, I, and, and, and one really hopes to, you know, just as we really unpack in the coming days, this particular visit and what it means. I mean, especially given the fact that we're finding ourselves with more units that are breaking down when it mm -hmm. comes to Eskom. So really, what does it all mean? That's our, our SABC's economics um, editor, uh, Tsepo Mungwa.